I'm back. All right. Okay. So hopefully you guys like that. Um, that's uh, what the uh, the German, the Frankfurt office has been working on, which is uh, you just saw the first iteration of the procedural terrain. There's a lot more to come there, but that's all fully inside the world, uh, inside our large world, all transferring. And uh, so what I thought we'd also do, because you could look at that and say, well, you know, is that a pre-rendered thing or not? So I have a play session that uh, Sean, who's Sean here, is a, a branch and technical director, uh, did earlier. So we'll play that and then we'll wander around in the editor because the editor's a bit ugly and you sort of have the other stuff. But exactly. uh, we'll play the video of him landing on that level that you saw the pull out from. Awesome. And then we'll, and then we'll just kind of zip around and sort of show kind of how it works because it's pretty seamless where you move around. So um, Tom, you want to run the video of the landing? Hope he's running it. We'll see. It's running. Video. Landing. Okay, cool. Hey guys, all right, so that was Sean, uh, recorded a little earlier, landing in the level, <laughs> it's kind right. of. Uh, uh, but, uh, you, know, it's, uh, you know, we're still at the, uh, you know, the early stages, but you can actually see that it's not that far off. So we thought it would be fun, we'd be here in the editor, we can kind of show you. So this is essentially uh, Port Olisar. Yeah. It's, um, it's the same space station that we put in, the, uh, in this system map. 
Um, and uh, you know, off if we look around the side, you can see um, the Del Mar planet that uh, we flew down to, which is, uh, I don't quite know how far away it is, it's quite a distance away. Uh, it's, yes, yeah, 600,000 kilometers. kilometers right? Yeah, it's really far. So actually, I'm just gonna do a, you jump, a little there's shortcut. A, there's, a, there's a, the space station that was in orbit around uh, Del Mar, and then you can, you can pro we can probably just see it, like if you go fast on the editor speed, maybe, perhaps. You can sort of go down. So here's Del Mar. We're now closer to it. Just so we're just. One second there. Okay. Don't need any Skypes while we're doing this. True. Um, so yeah, this is the uh, first sort of orbit station that's around. Uh, one of the things I like the best about this is the atmosphere by far. Um, I think the atmosphere looks it's super realistic. Um, it's all the work that uh, the German office had done on that to get it to look the way it does um, is amazing. Um, and we're moving at just pretty much a snail's pace up here, so why don't we uh, make our way down to the planet, actually. Jeez. And having worked in uh, Sandbox before in, like, you know, really, really sort of small levels, uh, this, is a, this is an entire different beast. Um, so you yeah, can see so that's all, as you saw, we just did all that in the editor live. It's generating the <coughs> procedural terrain on the fly with the full atmospherics baked in and our uh, custom landing site, um, which is uh, pretty impressive. Um, so we can, you could just, Early you days, could just but... jump into the game and- Yeah, for sure. And uh, that's the best part about this is, again, because it's all streaming, it's all live, uh, you know, I just hit control G and here I am in my ship back at the uh, landing platform and we sort of start to do another run. So I'll try to do a little bit of a better job well, on this one. <laughs> There we go, taking off. There we go. Just came out of the space station here. So you saw we came, that's all in the same level, all streamed in. Now we're around, we're now in orbit in the planet. Um, and then uh, we've got a couple of nav markers for the approach to land at Levski. Down there you can sort of see the moon off on the side there, the atmospherics. And that all changes based on obviously where the sun is, which is pretty cool. Yeah. Um, so we're gonna hit our uh, <coughs> super cruise mode here just because the uh, scale is so large, in fact, that uh, if I just flew it even the regular cruise mode, uh, it would take so long to get here. We'd be taking a little bit too long. And that's one of the big things that we're working on right now, now that we've got the tech in, we've got to get the actual flight gameplay worked out and make it fun to do this. Um, the technology's come online so quickly. Um, yeah, that's and pretty cool. And you can see this is basically sort of in the Crusader level that we're moving around. So, exactly. exactly. Um, yeah. And it's, it's pretty addictive. Like, you know, you'll, you'll be flying around sort of testing these things. I set up these uh, tiny approach markers just so I knew what direction to sort of come in on. But, uh, right, you can fly all over the planet. It's all very procedurally generated, so... And it all, it all holds up very much up close, which is quite fun. So now is where it gets a little bit dicey with this landing. So I'm going to switch to SEM and hope that I can slow down. Need that, like, uh, use the landing mode. Yeah. And let's do it. All right. So I might have overshot it just a little bit here. But... Still, you get to see more of the terrain, more of the sort of area that we're working with. Coming in from a totally different direction. You see, none of this is really pre-canned. <coughs> we set up this demo, you know, um, within a couple days, really. Couple days, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So it all worked out. And actually, the terrain well. renders uh, faster than maybe, well, I mean, the German team did a pretty amazing job. Because uh, the, the, the terrain renders super fast, even with... Right, it's faster than the cryogen terrain, that's for sure. Yeah. Like the, the sort of default out-of-the-box terrain. <laughs> so, I mean, we'll be brave. We can give this a go. Um, but as you saw from the video, <laughs> I've got a little bit of work to do on my landing skills. Um, this is obviously a very specific type of landing that uh, we don't do so often. But... That's just approach. I bet everybody's watching going, he's going to crash. He's going to crash. I'm not going to crash. I'm going to go really slow. There we go. We got the doors opening. All right. Just park myself right above this thing here. Uh-oh. 
Oh, what's strafe on the keyboard? I don't ever use it. Uh, it's A and D coupled. Oh, uh, you're in D coupled? Right. Uh, I will be in a second. And I'm just sitting in my little door trigger here. I'm sorry, it's not A, it's Q. Rather. Yeah, that needs to. All right. We need to Let's actually normalize. We need to normalize that between uh, All right, here FPS we go. controls. Can you make it? Yeah, yeah, you can do it. Yeah, yeah you can do it. Go all right, all right. Go on. I'm being real safe about it. Uh, and maybe I'll go back to first person here. Okay, a little sideways, perhaps. Oh, I'll go decoupled. Oh, oh I, I might have, I might have landed on a. That's what I was saying. You should go sideways. All right, all right. All right. Oof. <laughs> Everybody's oh, watching, going, "Oh, <laughs> he's totally gonna mess this up." All right, there you I'm go. not there gonna you mess go. it up. I got it. You I got, got it. it. We got it. We got it. Perfect. Perfect landing. All right, let's get out of the seat. <laughs> all right. And uh, go back. And here we are. And the really goofy you stuff that we're going to get rid of very soon. Yeah, uh, item port 2.0 stuff I hate. from Paul. It's going to be uh, awesome. Here we go. Da, da, da. And we'll get to this. Uh, just use the door okay. directly, I guess. And there we go. And so, there we are. So uh, we landed. Oh, someone's floating up. Uh, oh, we've t I might have left the ship on. So. That's about that, and we can just you, you know jump in, jump out. So anyway, that just shows you we're doing it live, uh, and uh, so it's pretty exciting because uh, that text made um, some really great strides this year. The, like I said, the uh, the German team, Marco Cabetta and Carsten, uh, uh, are the two um, sort of lead uh, tech mm -hmm. engineer geniuses that we have, and uh, what you're seeing there is a lot of their work, and then there's been a bunch of support mm -hmm. work from other folks. Um, but uh, yeah, it's pretty awesome. Uh, hopefully you guys like it. Um, we're pretty excited because uh, it's further ahead than we thought we would be at this sort of time. And so we'll be, you know, next year, some pretty great things are going to be happening. So mm -hmm. hopefully you like that part. Much better than me playing uh, <laughs> a, a crashy 2.0 over there on that machine. Um, so.